Good morning ladies and gents, welcome back. Today I will share it to you how to simulate your control circuit ideas for your electrical project and design. The sample I will make is about water purifier or reverse osmosis system since it has simple and not so complicated electrical system. Using conventional relay and simulate the control circuit to easily understand every steps we make and change if necessary. I use the fluid sim application by Festo. The one I have is an old version of this app and the main purpose is for electro pneumatic simulation. But I will use the electrical side to simulate the logic of the control circuit. I know there are better applications for this purpose, but unfortunately I don't have. So I use this fluid sim application. Back to the story, while discussing with my friend regarding water purifier business in Philippines, he asked me if I can build the electrical control circuit with automatic and manual operation, as he is planning to build one. But it looks like not the case anymore. At that time, I also got curious on the design and operation, and I want to compare to the one we have on board, which is a marine type RO plant or the reverse osmosis plant. Of course, it has the same principle, but I want to know the difference on the approach. So after doing small research online, what I noticed is very similar to marine type RO plant. The difference is material like the RO membrane, the type of filter, additional sensors installed like the water PPM, and salinity, higher pressure, PLC automatic operation, and of course, the seawater as raw water. So here is the idea of the electrical circuit. The operation has manual and automatic switchover. Using conventional relay, as we all know, PLC is expensive the software programming, and the hardware. Third, with auto-flashing of RO membrane, this will help prolong the membrane as one reason of failure is bacterial growth. So let's get it started. Here is my black diagram of water purifier. I draw using Microsoft Excel since I feel more comfortable drawing in Excel file. And here is my electrical diagram drawn in fluid sim application. And this is ready to simulate the circuit. Why we need a simulator? At least for me, it helps me a lot to think less and understand easily my design circuit and sync easily on my head. Anyway, this is the logic of this control circuit. It has manual and automatic mode. For manual mode, it has three switches to turn on and off, the feed pump, the RO pump, and the product pump. For automatic mode, the feed pump start only if tank 1 is not empty and no existing alarm. And the pump stop if high pressure in the output line, tank 1 is empty, and RO plant alarm. The RO pump start only if feed pump is running, pressure in the suction line, and no existing alarm. And the pump stop if tank 2 is full, a total loss of pressure in the suction side, and over pressure in discharge line will also trip the pump. The product pump start if tank 2 is not empty, and low pressure in the discharge line, which means the refill valve is open. And the product pump stop if tank 2 is empty and high pressure in the discharge line, which means the refill valve is closed. And the UV lamp turns on and off same as the product pump. 
which main purpose is to kill any bacteria present in the clean water product. For auto flush, as soon as the automatic mode started, the timer also start counting. For this example, let's say 10 hours or 12 hours or 24 hours depend on how busy is the RO plant. So after 10 hours, flashing mode executed, turning off the feed pump and the RO pump, and opening the flashing valve, and run the product pump and UV lamp, maybe for 30 seconds to 1 minute, and then repeat the cycle. Okay, we can start simulating our control circuit. So, by the way, this indicator here is also the same here in our Mimic panel. So, it's quite uh, user-friendly if during the installation, we also include this diagram with LED indicator. So, it's easy to visualize what happened during the uh, cycle. So back to our simulation, let's click the play button. As you can see, red line is present, which means that the circuit is active. This is the source here, 24 volts, 0 volts. This is the reset button for the alarm, emergency stop, manual automatic, Okay, we are in manual mode. So this switches is for feed pump, for the RO pump, and the product pump. We have pressure switch one here for feed pump. Pressure switch number two for pre-filter moni monitoring. So it's only uh, included in the automatic operation you have or we have here a uh, pressure switch number three for the output of the ro pump for over pressure so as you can see here it triggered the alarm and turn off the ro pump so yes reset to reset the uh, alarm okay we will turn off now and let's go to automatic mode automatic mode immediately start the feed pump if all conditions satisfy so it has a timer here to monitor if it will build a pressure in the suction line of the RO pump if no pressure build up it will immediately trigger the alarm turn off all the pumps so it's like a safety features so it will not uh, damage also our uh, RO pump and it is like a monitoring if there is a clog or closed valve somewhere in the filter section so yeah let's see we have pressure already we will reset our alarm, start feed pump, counting some time to build up pressure here. Okay, and yes, RO pump start. And at the same time, it's already counting for the flashing sequence. Okay, down here we have our tank one full yes turn off the inlet valve tank one empty turn off the feed pump tank two full turn off the RO pump tank two empty turn off the product pump so we have also here the clog filter indicator for the mimic panel okay it's almost finished for the flushing 
Okay, now flashing sequence is triggered. So flashing valve open, turn off feed pump and RO pump, and remain turn on for the product pump. And after the flashing sequence, turn back to new cycle. Okay, that's it. So this is how my circuit works. Uh, thank you for watching and mabuhay.